Joe Puente and uh, this is Section 1 TV and today we're going to be participating in a community blood drive so let's go. Oh. Hi Marlon. Hi. So, where do I sign in? Right? I need you to sign right there. Lewis and Clark. We're regional. That's what it is. What's your name? Shantae Chittister. Shantae Chittister. Okay, I knew a Chittister and uh, a uh, Michael Chittister in Massachusetts. Really? Do you have family in Massachusetts? No, but if the last name's Chittister, we're probably related somehow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is this the first time you're doing what? It's not. It's not. You're a regular. Yeah. Okay. I what, try to be. And what motivates you then? Uh, um, <laughs> my blood type. Your, oh, okay. What's your blood type? B positive. Oh, well, that's very good. Good motto to have, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for donating blood and making the rest of us feel more comfortable about it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. We're here. We're talking with uh, Marilyn. And Marilyn, how long have you been doing this? You've been for two, about two and a half years. Wow, two and a half years. Witnessing yeah. all kinds of bloodletting. <laughs> <laughs> what motivated you to uh, involve yourself with Red Cross? And... I'm the State Relief Society president. It's my job. There you go. <laughs> got, you got to love the Relief Society. I mean, it's right, Relief Society. It's right there in the name. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Joe? Oh, thank you. When I was a little kid, I had to go to an emergency room because I had a bug bite and a really bad allergic reaction, and they had to give me a shot, and I was really scared. And then they, like, you know, put the needle in, and it didn't hurt as bad as I expected, but I didn't want to admit it. But now it's like, ever since then, it's like needles. Big deal. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Unless the part called for it. I'm not acting. So. Yeah. Well, we can manage that, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead and look away if you need to. We're going to go. Oh. Gonna stay. Okay. That's it. Gentle squeeze every three by a second. You going okay? Yep. Oh, the way we're working, so I guess I can just, we can talk. Oh, you got your iPod. Is that it? You <laughs> uh, well, never come unprepared. So, Noel. Does, is there something about 80s music that's conducive to a good blood draw? I think so. You think so? It's very relaxing. Is that it? I was yeah. thinking that as I was sitting there. Now, if Michael Jackson comes on again, will you moonwalk for us? Mm -hmm. I was hoping you were going to moonwalk for me. 
I can't do that. I think there's something on the list about not moonwalking on my post donation thing here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> when I was when I was in the Navy, we had regular, you know, regular donation, you know, kind of like this, and it was uh, really cool because like all the uh, wives on the base, uh, the snacks were potluck, so they would bring the best stuff over. The wives would. All wives, yeah, it was awesome. So Noel, can you answer some serious questions for me? Uh, first of all, how, how much of, how much of my blood are you taking? You're taking two cups, one pint. One pint, and uh, blood has to be uh, stored for a certain period of time, and then it, it actually goes bad after a while. It'll be on the shelf for 42 days. Um, it doesn't stay on the shelf twice because the blood is such a high demand. Oh, okay. Awesome. And how often can someone donate blood? What color did you have in there? What you got? I have red, purple, green, and blue. Go with purple. Purple? Thanks. Okay, I'll go with purple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you're putting some blood into uh, some vials here. What's that for? These are all for testing. Now, what sort of things will my blood be tested for? Um, all hepatitis, sexually transmitted diseases, uh, West Nile, and uh, I, while I don't anticipate having to be called for any of those diseases, let's hope not. Let's so hope not. But if something will Okay. <laughs> and that would be that would be the call to say, hey, why don't you come down and some blood again? Which is the call that I got yesterday. <laughs> Curious, how long was my time? Yours was just under five minutes. Wow. Pretty quick. I should go grab honey and treats. You want to get your sugars back up before you want to order for Oh, yeah. I go for that, same. So. So I got kind of a sweet tooth, so yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming in. All right, ride's over. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, let's go, let's go see what's on the menu. About five minutes. What? Yep. I'm a quick bleeder. Yeah. Of course, that wouldn't be to my advantage if I got into like a serious accident. But for blood donation, yeah, in and out. I always lose. You look so cute in pink. Should we get that? Good. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys. I'm not scared. I'm <laughs> sure Now, you're, we were just told. This, this, let's do the post game interview now. Have a seat, please. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Bradley Chittister. <coughs> Bradley Chittister. And uh, we understand you just completed uh, your tour in the military, right? Huh? Yeah, I was um, actually retired from the military in 2005. Oh, really? Retired? Awesome. Cool. So, did you uh, see any action? Yeah, I was in Iraq. That's how I come on retired. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wounded in Iraq on October 5th, 2004, in a car bomb. I took shrapnel up both my, my upper torso. So I'm retired now. I live here in Fountain Green. Awesome. That's right. <laughs> Me and the wife are just home all day long. So just trying to find stuff to do. <laughs> Thought we'd come down and donate blood. Great. All righty. Where do I put this? Where shall I put my comments? Right there. Okay. I think we're I think we're done today. It was a good experience coming here to donate blood and meet the Chittisters and everyone else who came over. And next time you see there's a blood drive going on in your area, get over there and come on, lead into a bag for five minutes. No big deal. Won't hurt. <laughs>